Water Conservation Garden, located in the East County of San Diego on the campus of Cuyamaca Community College, is designed on the seven steps of low water use, also called Xeriscape. During this film, you will see exhibits that demonstrate all of these steps. Hi, I'm Miss Smarty Plants, the garden's eco ambassador. Welcome to the Water Conservation Garden. I'll be taking you on a tour of our beautiful garden with over five acres of gorgeous water-saving plants. Come on in. am I tired. I just came through the pipe taking the same route that your water does down the mountains twisting and turning around all the bends all the way here to San Diego the end of the pipeline. Here in Southern California water is our most precious resource. The Colorado River is our main source of fresh water providing the majority of our supply. I'm standing in an example of a pipe that carries that water to us. San Diego is at the end of the pipeline with not much water to spare, as you can see. This is the reason our garden was created, to demonstrate, educate, and inspire all who visit us, whether in person or via cyberspace, that you can have a beautiful landscape and save our most precious resource, water. As we wander through our garden, I'm sure you too will be inspired. It's been said that planning correctly is the best use of your time and money. I happen to agree. Before you begin your landscape, it's important to have an idea of what you want to see so that you can take the proper steps to achieve your goals. Ask questions such as, how big will this plant or tree get in three years? Look at pictures or books, research on the internet, or contact a landscape designer to help you. You'll be glad you did. As the original caretakers of our land, the Native Americans used resources wisely and did not interrupt the natural beauty of the ecosystem. Plants were a large part of their daily lives as food, medicine, shelter, and beauty. They used plants such as the mighty coastal oak, California lilac, sages, yucca, and many more. Here at the Water Conservation Garden, we not only teach people how to save water, but also how they can sustainably use a variety of resources. A shining example of using resources sustainably is our straw bale house with its green living roof. This structure is made of 90% recycled materials. The house is constructed of reused straw bales. The logs on the side walls and roof are from trees that burnt in a major wildfire years ago in San Diego County. And the roof is beautifully designed with living succulents which provide a cooling effect to the building. Amazing mulch. What is it and why is it so important? Mulch is any material that covers the soil. It can be organic, made from a plant, or it can be rock or stone. A typical household uses up to 60% of their water outside, and believe it or not, 
the proper use of mulch can save as much as 40% of this amount. This is quite a savings. Mulch serves many purposes. It prevents evaporation, allowing moisture to stay in the ground longer. It helps plants thrive by keeping their roots cool. And it helps with weed abatement. It is one of the least expensive ways to save water and money in your landscape. Because mulch comes in a variety of colors and textures, it can add an attractive design element to your landscape as well. Welcome to my garden home. You are viewing two equally sized landscapes. One is what a typical backyard in Southern California looks like. It has grass, a fence, and some plants. The backyard behind me not only saves water, but is much more interesting and an attractive design. The typical backyard with just grass uses, are you ready for this, 28,000 gallons of water a year, while the more attractive landscape behind me uses only 6,000 gallons. What a difference! This drastic water savings was achieved with a few key changes replacing a large grass turf area with a smaller one, using a drip irrigation system, choosing drought tolerant plants, and using mulch properly. As an added bonus, the water saving backyard saves time by requiring less upkeep too. Welcome to the Gardens Amphitheater. What a beautiful spot to listen to some music, see a performance, or just enjoy some shade. The water saving plants we use throughout the seating area add to the amphitheater's beauty, making it a special spot for a variety of occasions, such as large meetings, outdoor concerts, theater, or even weddings. Using the proper irrigation system is essential to your water saving garden. Changing a pop-up sprayer to a drip or soaker hose system can save huge amounts of water since it applies water directly to plants' roots. It's important to maintain your irrigation to save you money, time, and water as well. Check for breaks and leaks in your system regularly and quickly repair any problem areas to avoid wasting water. Water harvesting is a great way to save water, and it's easy to do. There are many systems available. Here at the garden, we harvest water right off of our roof with a system that captures the water and filters out some of the debris. Once captured, the water is stored in an airtight container that prevents the growth of mosquitoes and algae. Using the attached hose bib, we can use this water to irrigate our plants whenever we need to. A water harvesting design is also built into the roof of our restrooms, capturing even larger amounts of water. The V-shaped roof formation funnels rainwater to its oversized pipe and deposits it into a holding tank below ground. It may not seem like it, but you can save as much as 500 gallons of water from just a small rainfall. Here at our cactus and succulent garden, we have combined many design elements. The plants were selected for their diversity of color, size, and texture. Rocks, dried wood, and colored walls give this garden an extra wow factor for any home or business landscape. Low maintenance and extraordinary beauty are two of the big benefits of this type of garden.
So do you think everything will always be here? It won't, unless we change. Are we gonna change? Yes. How many of you are willing to change? My adults, how many of you are willing to change? Good, so who are my heroes? Smile! And what are you gonna say? <laughs> the Earth. We're at the end of our tour today, and it has been my pleasure to be your tour guide. Hopefully you were inspired by both the beauty and sustainability the Water Conservation Garden has unveiled, and have come away with ideas for creating a similar landscape of your own. We look forward to your next visit, and as I tell all of my students, we can change the world with our own two hands.